Good afternoon, Lee Sundin, Foursquare Inspection. Hey, here's an interesting little house that I'm looking at today. Uh, rolled up in front of it, I looked at it and said, okay, well, this has got a stone veneer on it, and uh, then the upper part of it is stucco. But I looked a little bit further, uh, looking in the basement, I noted that it did not have uh, the indications of a frame upper story. It would look like it was a uh, uh, masonry structure all the way through. And then coming back outside and looking closer at this stonework, I have determined it is not actually stone. This is actually stucco, which has been formed and colored in place. And this is something that was done commonly, or not real commonly, but done back in that particular era. Some of the clues that uh, help get an understanding of the truth of all of that, as you look at uh, a stone veneer installation, normally you would find any cracks would follow the joints between the stones. But we've got a crack down here below this window. It's not a terrible crack, but it's a crack nonetheless. But if you look at it, it doesn't seem to much care where those uh, joints in the stonework happen to be. Another kind of a clue is on the surfaces of all of the pieces. There's kind of a rippled type effect. And this probably was something due to uh, maybe, I don't know exactly how they did it back in the day, but it may have been some material that made it so that it was able, able to easily be pulled out of its forms. So that's found basically in all of those pieces. Another little crack again, it's not interested in the uh, joints at all. And then down here at the foundation, this is the only place I could actually see the concrete foundation itself. And you can see one little chunk of, uh, it looks like they had the form falling below that that uh, formed a little chunk of it there so that again is kind of a clue that this is not in fact stone it is stucco and it has to be treated like stucco and uh, there's nothing really wrong with it especially on a masonry structure as long as there's no significant cracks uh, it's a good thing but i thought it'd be an interesting thing to bring to your attention as to some of the interesting construction techniques that they had in years past lee sundin four square inspection have a great day